guys, it's Chris and we're back with something else Amiga. What do we have going on today? A month ago, I ordered this. This is a 68060 Rev6. I got this from a Chinese seller on the eBay. And uh, here she is. This is the super duper MC68060 RC50 with a 99Q something. It came in about a month. This is my quick pack, 060 4000 tower with a Rev 1 full CPU. In a previous video, you probably saw I put the zip drive in. It's been working great. And I'm running Vince Shell, and you will see here, CPU, blah, 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 Rev 1. 040 running 40 math, beach ball, it's about 1.29 seconds. I've had it low as 0.97. 50 megahertz, 50 megahertz, everything's on, everything is great. 60 to 60, 60 to 60, blah, 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 great. We'll get a base number here on speed. And then what we'll do is we'll compare the Rev 6 and see what it does. So this one is rocking 37,624 dry stones, 39.27 million instructions per second, and 28 million floating point operations per second. 2.30 chip speed, phone me now. Um, this one has 128 megs of RAM on the quick pack. It has 16 megs of RAM on board and two megs of chip. That's it. All right, with that, I'm going to turn this unit off. So with this power down, I'm going to get her undressed. You know what? I might be able to do this without taking a thing out. Hey, one of these old shovels. Remember these guys from the old Intel processor days? I'm going to try and just dig this bad boy out. And then slap this mofo in so I don't have to disassemble everything. Watch me fail miserably. Oh, that is great. Let me unhook the CPU fan here. There we go. Um, just see if I can get underneath this pizza. I got it. Well, honk my hooter. Nope. Yep. Got it. Okay. So, the little no pin is down. I'm going to leave the fan off for now. That's nice. That is so, so nice. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's the dude right there. Suck it. I think they're pretty good. Okay. Let me not... Fill the holes here and oh look at that well that's done <laughs> doesn't have a heat sink right now don't care and I put all that other crap on the floor too there we go can you guys see okay all right sit tight now it takes this thing a minute to boot since I put this zip drive in and this SCSI CD-ROM because both of these use the SCSI dot device and the SCSI 2 dot device this is IDE actually, and this is uh, regular SCSI, as is the Zulu here. Okay, so it booted. Fix yourself. There we go. Let's see if this seller is honest. CPU. Holy crap, it is legit. Rev 6 Superscaler. $371. It was delivered. October 18th, this was delivered. It is not October 18th, it is way later. Let's see if it's any better. I have no idea. This is the best Rev 6 there is, so let's see. Does it do anything better? I don't know, it's still the same chip. 1.3. This was 131. 127, a little bit quicker. All right, 6060 Rev 6. Now the idea of this is this one can be overclocked to 100. There we go. Sorry about that camera focus there. You hung around here before. You know I suck at filming. 6860 plus 882. Hit it. We'll compare these numbers to the originals. Now, since I just filmed both, I am going to have to put the old ones on the screen. I think this is a little bit bigger. I need some sound because the internal speaker sucks. I'm still only 50 megahertz, okay? Demos, starstruck, starstruck, boom. It's a fast computer for what it is. Now is this up in the center? Yes, it is. I was plugging the Daboom in. It's running off this little speaker right now. Oh, 
rappelle. Oui. Smooth to me. Okay, it runs, all right. Here's the weird thing. I rebooted an NTSC and there's my zip drive. Isn't that weird? I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, Starstruck to it. Why not? Just copy it to the zip drive. There goes the zip drive zip driving. So we copied our Starstruck to uh, it. I'm going to try rebooting this one more time in PAL with the zip cartridge in it. Boot options. PAL, use, boot, and it actually is booting faster because I have a disk in the drive. Interesting. I don't have to wait that long period of map ROM and, and, and ID check. It's actually booting much faster. Okay, there's our zip drive. So I'm going to quit virus Z. We are in PAL mode now. I'm going to run Starstruck off of a zip disk. You can probably hear it making that funky noise, but... Yeah, kind of neat. Off a zip drive in PAL. Let me turn this light off. Heat. And this one, too. It's loading, though. Cool. We're going to get Luke Skywalker out here and zap some, uh, some uh, temperatures here. 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too hot, but it's going to heat up some more. I will put the fan. That looks a little rainy because I'm in town on the NTSC monitor. Okay. I don't know if I ran the right demo. Is it going to lock up on the wall? I forget. Usually when I get this, it does. I forget. I'm probably running the wrong one. We'll get to the shark. Great. Nope. I ran the wrong demo. <laughs> Alright. So there's two versions of Starstruck. Half finished version. Okay. I need what's called the party version. Got it off the web. Downloading it from the web on an Amiga browser to an Amiga. Let's shoot that processor temperature again here and see what we're at. 113.7 Fahrenheit, that is 44.8 degrees communist. Hey, here's something useless. I found my old JVC uh, camera. Everito, dual memory cards too. Boop. I think this is like a 720p camera. If I'm lucky, but the neat part is, I charged the old battery up today, and it works. Ta-da! I left the screen off because it had some button indent from the rubber pad right here hitting it. So, yeah, and these little rubber pads, there's a rubber pad that pushes right on the middle of the daggone screen. So I think I'll pull that rubber pad off. The battery still holds a charge, and it works. That's kind of useless information, but kind of neat. Here we go, which should make it run nice and smooth, even though it ran nice and smooth on the original. Here we go. Internal speaker and the Davoon. Now Pimego will run this. 
perfect. Cool, smooth, and it made it. No problems. There we go. 2018 final version. Same one that I ran a long time ago on my Amiga 2000 Vampire Core 3 Alpha. It was tough to do because of the screen modes and how it works on that core, but it ran really good on that Vampire. Even though it was a 2000, pretty neat. I'm going to go back in time, check out that video. Planet Loonies. Let's see how this does. I think this demo kind of sucks. We're gonna skip this thing. This demo is a little freaky. If you have epilepsy, watch with caution. That was 7 megs of data. Incredible. Here's what state of the art looks like. In an 060. What the heck. So we're going to go boot options, PAL, boot options, disable CPU caches here. And boot. And boot. See? Disable CPU. But the sound finally comes through. 60 to 60 running an OCS demo. So that sucks, it crashed. Yeah, it just doesn't. I don't know what it is about my Amigas. I cannot. My stock Amiga 500 will run this no problem. Sometimes OCS stuff is a little bit tricky. So we're going to put the uh, Slayer Christmas album, Seasons of the Abyss, in. 
is I think I'm going to just jam to some music. Cool. But the Amiga 4000T now has a Rev 6, 60 to 60 at 50 megahertz. I could overclock this up to 100, but I'm not going to because these are cherished machines to me and I like to keep them kind of how they were. Maybe on another processor like the BFG or something similar, it could run at a higher frequency, no problem. So that is all I got. Thank you for coming along on this sort of quick journey when testing out the Rev 6 on the 4000 tower with the quick pack please stay tuned for more amiga videos in the future if you have not subscribed please do me a favor and just click the subscribe button i don't care if you never watch another video it just really helps a brother out 87 percent of my watchers don't subscribe to my videos i don't know why if you're watching them just please consider subscribing maybe give me a like it would be greatly appreciated thank you guys for coming along as always, I hope you learned something.